video tutorial brought to you by Juwan.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create this really nice looking home icon. Now even though this is a really slick looking icon you're going to see that this is a pretty basic tutorial. This is a tutorial for beginners. So if you like this tutorial please comment, rate, and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. Now the shortcut for creating a new document is Control N just like that and when creating icons then you want to have a width and height set to about 300 by 300 and then after you create the new icon you can scale it down as you need to and I already have the width and height in here that I want and make sure that your color mode is set to RGB I'm gonna go ahead and press enter now when working on a new document you always want to start off with the default foreground and background color and if you don't have the default just press the D key and Next, we're going to hit Alt Backspace to fill that background color with black. Now, after doing that, we are going to drag out a perfect circle. And you can do that uh, by using the elliptical marquee tool. But before I go ahead and start drawing, I also want to zoom in to 200%. I forgot to do that. And you can do that by hitting Control and Plus. Okay, now we are zoomed in to 100% and we can go ahead and drag out our circle. So go ahead and hit the shift key so that your circle stays perfectly round and then just go ahead and drag out from corner to corner just like that. Now after you have your circle created, hit control shift N to put that circle on a new layer and we are going to name this new layer outer just like that. Now we want to fill this color, this circle with a light gray about about like that as yeah that's pretty good so after we got that uh, foreground color changed to gray hit alt backspace to fill that with gray now I'm just gonna go ahead and move this circle down here to the center a little bit cuz I'm a little fussy now we're going to contract this circle in order to contract it we're gonna go to uh, select modify and contract and we are gonna contract this by six pixels and I already have six in there so go ahead and press enter. Now we are going to fill this new contracted circle with a light bluish type color and I have the hex code written down here. I have A8F5E9 and that gives us, gives us that nice light blue color. So go ahead and hit alt backspace again in order to fill that with the light blue and now we are going to contract this circle as well. So again go to select, modify and contract and again we are going to contract it by six pixels the number six is already in there so hit enter now with this this uh, newly contracted circle we're going to fill that with black so go ahead and hit D in order to reset your foreground and background color and hit alt backspace in order to fill that with black and now we are going to contract it again so go to select modify contract but this time we're only going to contract it by one pixel so type in the number one and then press enter now with this final contracted circle we want to put this on a new layer so hit control shift N and we are going to name this new layer inner just like that so this inner circle we are going to fill this with a dark gray color about like that is pretty good yes so hit enter and then hit alt backspace in order to fill that now we are going to erase the bottom half of this inner circle so go ahead and select your eraser tool and you want to have a large circle and make it pretty soft I already have the softness set to about 20 percent just like that and now I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm gonna then and by holding down the shift key in this case that makes sure that I draw out a straight line now actually I want to take out a little bit more of that I think so I'm gonna hold down the shift key and uh, you know I, I like the other way better so I'm gonna hit the control Z and now I'm gonna let go of the shift key and I'm gonna erase the rest of that so I just erased the bottom half of that circle so now the circle on the layer below it is showing which was black so there you go now we're going to go ahead and draw out our, our house so I'm gonna hit control D to get rid of those marching ants and we are going to use the elliptical uh, excuse me the polygonal lasso tool it's hard to say for me the polygonal lasso tool in order to, to draw out the house now you don't have to be an artist in order to draw this thing so just go ahead and click just gonna use straight lines here and draw out a, a basic house 
but definitely not a house you'd want to live in, you know. And and any of my friends and family would tell you that I am not an artist, and I'm, I think you're starting to figure that out for yourself by watching me draw this house. And it's a shame because I'm such a fussy guy, you know. But there you go. It, but that's what makes it yours, you see. So that is the house. Now what we're going to do is put this house on its own layer by hitting Control Shift N. And we're going to name this layer House. Just like that. Now we are going to fill this house with a gradient of blue. So go ahead and choose out two blues. Let's see, get it a little bit bluer like that. Going to choose a highly saturated blue just like that. And then and so that's the foreground color and in the background color we'll choose try to get that same blue again you know and choose a slightly lesser saturated blue about like that not that much different from the previous one so now what we're gonna do is fill this house with the gradient so choose the gradient tool make sure that foreground to background is selected and then press enter and then just drag out a drag diagonal line just like that and you filled your house with that gradient. Go ahead and hit Control D to get rid of those marching ants. Now we're going to finish off the roofing with the line tool. Select the line tool, make the weight at four pixels. And what that means is that the line is going to be four pixels thick. And so go ahead and drag out the line, you know, just like that. Going a little bit past the tip of the house, just like that. And then drag the line down just like so and there you go and that looks okay to me and we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a little bit of touching up so I'm just gonna have this line selected here and I want to make sure that um, the tip isn't jagged there at the top so there you go that's about perfectly overlaying and so now what I'm going to do is I want to center up that house a little bit you know I think it could use a little centering so I'm just gonna go ahead and grab these gonna grab the move tool and yeah, well you know what it really is it was alright the way it was so there you go so now we're gonna merge all of these layers together except for the background layer so I'm gonna hit the top layer again hit hold down the shift key and then select the bottom layer hit control E and so we're done you know it just if you deselect that background you see we have that house there and you can the icon there you can move it on around so let's go ahead and compare that to the previous one and there you go in my opinion the new one is actually a little bit better so thank you for watching my tutorial please don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and have a wonderful day